In the first part of the video about available energy, I discussed the natural flow of heat from a hot region of space towards a cold region of space, and that this natural flow can be used by inserting a heat engine in between the two regions to do mechanical work. The laws of nature do not allow for heat to flow from a colder region of space towards a hotter region of space spontaneously or naturally. However, with the use of certain types of devices, heat can be transferred from a cold region of space into a hot region of space. Those devices are the refrigerator and the air conditioner. The natural flow of heat, as I stated, is from a hot region, a region at high temperature, towards a cold region, which is a region at low temperature. And the laws of nature forbid that heat flows from a region at low temperature or cold region towards a region at high temperature or a hot region. So nature doesn't allow for this direction of the heat flow to occur naturally. However, if I use a device that is known as a refrigerator and insert in between the two regions, the cold and the hot region, then it is possible to extract heat from the cold region and deposit it into the hot region. But the price for that is that work must be done by the refrigerator. Let's see how a refrigerator is going to transfer heat from the cold to hot region. Here is my hot region, and here is my cold region. And I'm going to introduce the refrigerator in between the two. So the refrigerator, in order to extract heat from the cold region, must do work on a working substance inside the refrigerator. So some work must be done by the refrigerator. As a result, some amount of heat will be extracted from the cold region. And the two quantities, the amount of heat extracted from the cold region, let's call it QC, and the work done by the refrigerator W will both add together to the amount of heat that will be deposited into the hot region, QH. So schematically, the width of the strip representing the amount of heat extracted from the cold region plus the width of the strip that represents the work done by the refrigerator, the two added together should be equal to the width of the strip that represents the amount of heat deposited into the hot region. So these three quantities, QC, QH, and W, are related through the equation of conservation of energy. The equation of conservation of energy simply states that QH is equal to QC plus W. This equation of conservation of energy is exactly the same as the equation of conservation of energy for a heat engine. And this makes sense since the process that is sketched here using a refrigerator is essentially a reversed process of what the heat engine does. Of course, the principle of operation of the two devices is completely different, but the main um, ideas are essentially similar. A good question now is, what exactly is the hot region for a refrigerator? The hot region for a refrigerator is simply the surroundings of the refrigerator. So if you have a refrigerator in your kitchen, then the surroundings would be the kitchen, and then also the house, and of course, ultimately, the entire earth. Then what is the cold region for the refrigerator? 
If you guessed that the inside of the refrigerator is the cold region, then you were correct. So heat is removed from the cold inside of the refrigerator by doing work and it is released into the surroundings of the refrigerator. The efficiency with which a refrigerator removes heat from the cold region and deposits it into the hot region is called coefficient of performance or COP. The coefficient of performance of a refrigerator is calculated as the amount of heat extracted from the cold region divided by the work done by the refrigerator. The coefficient of performance is always larger than one. For an ideal refrigerator, the coefficient of performance COP, C for Carnot, is calculated as the ratio of the temperature of the cold region to the difference between the temperatures of the hot region and the cold region. And here the two temperatures, Tc and Th, must be in Kelvin. I stated the second law of thermodynamics in terms of a heat engine, but there is an equivalent statement that can be made in terms of a refrigerator. The statement is that it is impossible to build a refrigerator that can transfer heat from a lower temperature region to a higher temperature region without using mechanical work. Let's do one example using the concept of coefficient of performance. A refrigerator uses 600 joules of work to remove 2400 joules of heat from a room. What is its coefficient of performance and also how much heat does it exhaust? Let's first make a list of the quantities that we know. So we know that the work done by the refrigerator is 600 joules. And we also know that it removes 2400 joules of heat from a room. So the room itself, you can think of as the insides of a refrigerator. And so then the 2400 joules removed from the room is the heat removed from the cold region, so QC. What we are looking for is the coefficient of performance and also the amount of heat exhausted into the hot region. The coefficient of performance is calculated as the ratio of the heat removed from the cold region and the work done by the refrigerator. So this is 2400 joules divided by 600 joules and that's equal to 4. To be able to find the heat exhausted in the hot region, let's use conservation of energy. The equation of conservation of energy states that the heat re released into the hot region is equal to the work done by the refrigerator plus the heat extracted from the cold region. So this will be equal to 600 joules plus 2400 joules, or this is 3000 joules. And with this, I'm concluding the lecture on available energy.